Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be talking about why your car engine might overheat. I'll upload one video per day of a reason for why your car engine might overheat. We'll have a look at causes, how to prevent it and even how to repair it. In the description below will be some links. There'll be a link for a tool that you might need or there'll be a link for a video um, that I've previously done with the same issue. So you can refer it if you need to fix this with your car. Um, we'll also go through any extra information that is just useful to know as well. So let's get started. So the chances are, if you're watching this video, you've got a car, it might have overheated, or your friend's got a car and it's overheated, or you just want to know how to prevent your car from overheating. It doesn't matter what type of car that you've got, we will cover every possibility for why the car engine might overheat. If you have any questions at all, please write in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Number one, main reason for why your engine will overheat is low coolant. Now this is the most cost efficient reason for your engine to be overheating. This will cost you the least to repair and the least to check. So what happens when you run low on coolant? Coolant is responsible for regulating the engine's temperature. It helps pull away any heat from that engine. So without enough coolant, your engine is going to overheat or it could seize up. While sometimes coolant does get low, it shouldn't be happening regularly. You would lose about 0.25% of coolant per four to six months. And you shouldn't really be losing anything more than that. To check your coolant level, all you need to do is make sure that it's either at maximum or between minimum and maximum, but definitely not on that minimum line. If you do find yourself topping up your coolant quite regularly, the chances are that you've got a coolant leak. Now it's best to find this coolant leak before it causes any serious damage. So there's a link in the description to the pressure test kit that I've used for my car. And underneath that link will be um, a video of what I found when I used my pressure test. So all you have to do is it simply screws onto your radiator cap and you pump it up and you pump it up to match the pressure which is usually written on top of your cap your radiator cap um, if it's not there refer to your car's manual i'm sure it will be there so once you've pumped it up you leave it for about 20 to 30 minutes and uh, you go back later and you check to make sure it's still on the same psi uh, if it's not then the chances are you've got a leak so you'll need to have a look around to have a look to see if you can see any any coolant leaking from anywhere uh, again in my video um, i've showed you how to check all your pipes and uh, what i found when i did my pressure test sorry i must emphasize please 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 when working on your car make sure that your engine is cold and your coolant is cold because inside your coolant expansion tank there is a lot of pressure that builds up and if you open that whilst it's still hot it hurts it's very hot water um so yeah i must add that in so now i'm going to answer the most commonly asked question about coolant and antifreeze and that is what is the difference so the only difference between the coolant and the antifreeze is the ratio of water to antifreeze um, so coolant is made up usually of 50 percent deisonide water and 50 percent antifreeze so that is the main difference um, when you refer to your car's manual, it should tell you what coolant to put in, um, but usually it is 50-50% if you go and buy the antifreeze itself. So that's everything you might need to know on coolant. And in my video tomorrow, we'll be talking about the thermostat, what it does, why it could cause your engine to overheat, and how to repair it, replace it, repair it. So I hope that helped with something and take care. If you haven't already, please subscribe and please give this a like if it's helped you with anything. Thank you very much.